Live from the studios of Penn Trafford High School, this is Wake Up Warriors with Sarah Simpson and Rachel Gross. We take a look at the band seniors saying goodbye and another group series. Wake Up Warriors starts now. Good morning, Penn Trafford, and welcome to Wake Up Warriors. Today is Wednesday, May 2nd. I'm Sarah. And I'm Rachel. The band seniors are gearing up to say goodbye to the Penn Trafford marching band. Nick and Rachel talked with a few seniors about what they will miss the most. <coughs> <sighs> All right, Cowboys, let's do this. The band season is almost over, and for the seniors, their time in the Penn Trafford band is also coming to an end. We caught up with a few seniors to find out what they will miss from the Penn Trafford band. I'm Emily DeStefano and I've been in marching band for four years. My name's Abby Carazia. I'm one of the drum majors for this year's band and I've been in the band for three years. Hi, I'm Kate and I've been in the marching band for four years. The band has given me a lot of friendships and a lot of opportunities to hang out with my friends. Um, it's made me very stressed and it's very time consuming. <laughs> On the positive end, it's given me a lot of structure in my high school years, which has been really nice. I've also met a lot of really great people and have gotten to go on some really neat trips. On the negative side, it does take up a lot of time, but in the end, it's definitely worth it. So while I've been in band, I've been lucky enough to go to Disney World um, my sophomore year, Toronto my junior year, and then Disney World again with all the seniors this year. And they've all been really great. We have always have a lot of fun, no matter where we are. Um, I would miss being able to hang out with my friends every day, all the time, and like good times, bad times, just being with them forever. I'm definitely going to miss having that little community in my life for such a large portion of my time. Um, I'm going to miss all the time that I get to spend with my friends that I've made through the band, and I'm going to miss uh, Mr. C a lot. Um, I would just thank Mr. C for everything he's done for me over the last four years and just being the best teacher I've ever had and one of my favorite people ever. Um, I'd just like to say thank you for everything you've done over the past four years, um, whether that's in band or not in band, just overall being a really great teacher. I just want to say thank you so much for everything you do. I know it's not an easy job by any means, and yet you put in so much time and effort to help out all of us, and we really thank you for that. This has been Nick Desmond and Rachel Gross for PTTV. I'd like to thank Emily DeSuffino for being my best band friend. <coughs> Congratulations to the 2018-2019 Student Union Officers, President Aaron Deutsch, Vice President Luke Babick, Secretary Aaron Brady, Treasurer Logan Sherwin, School Board Representative Colton Pekoski, the Senior Class Officers, President Lauren Kelly, Vice President Jacob Gerkman, Secretary Taya Santilli, and Treasurer Chris Abreu. The Junior Class Officers, President Max Haberberger, Vice President Mike Varia, Secretary Emma Rain, and Treasurer Ryan Mickey. The Junior Class Representatives, Brittany Marola, Chris Sakara, Anthony Sherwin, and Jake Weinstein. The Sophomore Class Officers, President Juliana Polizek, Vice President Silas Koshko, Secretary Maya Roman, Treasurer Zach Perrin. The Sophomore Class Representatives, Lizzie Cermak, Maria Schultes, Noah Stranko, and Sarah Winchell. Juniors, you received a ballot for your class representatives for next year. Please take a moment and vote. Thank you. Attention seniors, PT student newspaper The Warrior is compiling its annual list of senior destinations to print out in our final issue. Please check your email for the link to submit. Forms are due tomorrow in order to guarantee you are published. After school detention for Wednesday, May 2nd and Thursday, May 3rd will be held in the LLA with Mrs. Killen. Tomorrow, Ms. Martini's first period, LLA Study Hall, needs to move to the auditorium. Mrs. Marinsland's second period, Mrs. Busey's third period, and Mrs. Smith's fourth period, LLA Study Halls, all need to move to the audion. The Media Center will be closed on Thursday, periods 5 through 8, for an engineering event. The coffee shop is takeout drinks only. Yesterday, Bob Weaver came to talk to students about his work. He was an art teacher at York High School and now draws any chance he has. Mr. Weaver has done illustrations for Jim O'Brien and portraits for a coach at St. Vincent College. While showing off his amazing artwork, Mr. Weaver also showed students the type of line work he uses when he draws. Mr. Weaver said the crowd was attentive and seemed to enjoy his work. Mr. Weaver also had also bought pr brought prints of his work with him for students to take home and enjoy. If you want to see more work Mr. Weaver has done, 
Visit bobweaverartattack.com, and if you would like to see more speakers in the Media Center, please check your email for signups. Last Friday, Mr. Edgerly's America in Conflict class took a unique trip to Gettysburg where the students themselves gave presentations on different locations throughout the battlefield. They also made some stops at the museum in Cyclorama to make sure they still got the tourist experience. The class also took notes to keep them honest and alert throughout the trip. There will be a brief meeting tomorrow in the Media Center at 8.10 during announcements. This meeting will discuss a boot drive where all proceeds will be donated to our local fire departments. Jake Schick and Will Specht in another episode of Can You Guess This? A Pictionary game with only words that start with the letter S. This episode stars Reagan Hoffman versus the original Alex Wargo. Here's episode 3 of Can You Guess This? Episode 3, Can You Guess This? So. Screwdriver. Sun. Sky. Seagulls. Yeah. I'm pretty darn good at drawing this game. It's easy, Wario. Sasquatch. I mean, no. Yeah. Somali pirate. I, this is ridiculous. <laughs> you pick something that I can actually get. That is clearly a pirate from the country of Somalia. <laughs> See? Starfish. It's a sea creature. That's a pretty hard one. That does that, not... Well, yours was like serendipity or whatever. S It's gonna be impossible, I guess. Do you give up? Yes. Sylvester Stallone. It's him from Spy Kids. Sylvester Stallone from Spy Kids 3. You know, he's got the he's got the center bar over his eyes. Suspenders. Yeah. This is very easy. I don't know how you're not guessing this. Very easy. Cylinder? Nope. But what is it? Soy milk, because that's like a carton of oh, milk. Are you and kidding like, me? <laughs> I should win. Yes. No, you're just dumb. Very easy to guess. That's it. How do you know? You want it? You it's want it? probably like freaking something from a movie. Sedimentary rock. <laughs> see, because it's a rock. Yeah, I see. And it's sedimentary. There's a camera recording. Thanks for the. Attention all future advanced placement studio art students. There will be a mandatory meeting during 7th period on Monday, May 14th for all 2018-2019 AP Studio Art students. You will receive your summer assignments. Please see Mrs. Crystalite with any questions. Thank you. With the warmer weather really coming out in force, let's go to Zach Conley for more information on just how warm today might get. It is currently 61 degrees with the sky being partly cloudy. The high for today will be 79 and the low will be 48. It will be mostly sunny today, and when we get out of school, it will be 79 and mostly cloudy. It will stay that way throughout the night. Let's go back to the desk. Thank you for watching Wake Up Warriors. Please stand for the Pledge of the Flag. I'm Sarah. And I'm Rachel. Have a great day, Ben Trafford.